Hey man, welcome back to Cultivating the Culture. You got your host here, Aaron Branson. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let my special guest right here introduce himself. Yo, what's going on, man? It's Big Capo, man. The Big Jet. You know okay. what I'm saying? I know what's going on, Bullock. Okay, okay. Hey man, I wanna uh, welcome you to the show. Appreciate you. Know what you man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming on. We're gonna go ahead and jump this thing off, man. Where you get your name from? How did how they come about? Shit, basically, I had this dude who would like to be a brother to me. And he made this shit when he was locked up in the county jail and that jet like it stands for jigging and starting and taking. Okay. Me? So basically what he did was he took that from like old mob movies. You know what I'm saying? And I knew like the caliber nigga he was, I wasn't yet. So I had to play my role. The right hand man, that's what a capo is. People say capo, okay. but it's really capo. Capo. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's so. a real like Luca Brasi. Stone, like them, them people, like who I looked up to. I didn't really look up the Don Cody, I looked up to them. Like, okay. They was different, like they had a different meaning for this shit. Like they stood on loyalty for real. Like it's you got to kill me too before you kill them. For sure. You know what I'm saying like yeah. that's what I was on type of shit. So I right. took that and put it in front of that jet. You know I mean? That's hard. I would. I really want to talk about some of your music, man. Uh, I want to talk about your EP Dimension. That you got with uh, Telly? Oh, Telly Osama. Oh, that's my that's my jet, man. That's 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 the game. How that how that came about, man? It's, it's hard. We, we heard some of that. Shit. I she think she hit me up on I want to say Instagram or Facebook or some shit. She was like, bro, you hard as fuck. Woo, woo, woo. And then I fought around and seen her. That she freestyled one day. And when she freestyled, I'm like, damn. So I the hard as fuck. Mm -hmm. So I went hitting up like, man, what's up? You ain't got no studio not like that? She was like, nah, these people down here bullshit. I ride away right to Savannah and shit. I'm like, nah, fuck that kind of stage, bro. I got one for you. Yeah. So boom, she pulled her stage, bro. She dropped a song called um, I'm Here. Bro, when I tell you she wrote that bitch harder than niggas, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, nah, we got to keep going. Like, I got in that bitch like every week, like, fuck it, I'm booking time for it. Like, let's go. Yeah. Come on, get your ass in here. Get your ass in here to like Ben and Jalil and them boy like, well, she hard for real, so shit. Every time she go, like, she really, really, like, confident, so I get on songs with her. You know what I'm saying? So for that's sure. how that shit really came about. So we built, like, a relationship, like, like that's like my little sister, man. Like, we talk down there every day. I make sure her, her head straight, like, for so sure. She gonna be big head, bro, I'm telling you. Tell your song, remember the name. I wanna, uh, I wanna cut to something you had just said. I wanna keep, I wanna keep talking about this EP, but you had brought up being in Jaleel. Oh yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Let up, let let the folks know what Ben and Jaleel do for you. You know what I'm saying. Oh Ben, Ben, that's like my producer, like okay. my engineer, like so. We go in the studio, I roll my weed, and we just work, like no distractions, just me and him. Like nobody can really say like they really been in the studio with me. Right. You know what I'm saying like I don't really have a bunch of females and niggas and that just smoking weed and shit like that. Like it don't be nothing wrong with that. That people work, but me. I be in there and I psych out a little bit. Like I just, I really black out, forget where I'm at when I be rapping. So, right. being know how to control that shit. So it would just be working for real. So and Jaleel, who don't know his real name, that's Patsy, the one who shoot majority of the videos around here beside right. Boomin and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? That's my cousin. Okay. You know what I'm saying that's my cousin, but we ain't really find out we was cousins until like two, three years ago. Oh, that's and we went to school together and all that shit. Like me and my daddy wasn't that cool, so a lot of my cousins on his side I don't know about you. Right, okay, yeah. okay. Alright, so where you um where you get this passion for rapping? Like what made you want to rap? I had a cousin named Polo who got killed in Killeen, Texas. But he from down here though. He was rapping. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to rap. He wanted to do this shit for real. Like And I always had a love for music. And I knew he was hard. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have really made it. So shit, it fucked me up in the head when he died because that was the first real death that was close to me and I seen like how it affected so many people like his sons, his mama, his sister, you know what I'm saying, his brother, me, his bunch, like a, like a bunch of people like to the point like shit was like the same week he got killed, I just started the job at Sonic in Texas. Okay. That was like, I had school the next week on the friendly week. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They were like, nah, I'll just stay there, go to school, and go to work. So they buried my cousin over here in Statesboro, but he got killed in Texas, so they flew his body. I really wanted to go with him and all that shit, but I didn't like, even go to the funeral. Like, mm -hmm. So that shit fucked me up. So when 
all that was going on, all I was doing is really like standing myself. And one day I was like, fuck, I'm finna try to rap. Cause I was always around that shit, like my uncle them was rapping and shit like that, but right. I didn't ever want to rap for real, I ain't gonna lie. So I tried it, and I went crying when I was rapping. I was like, oh shit, I made myself cry. I might be talking about something. Yeah. So I went, I kept rapping. But I was just rapping, and I was like really making music for myself. Mm-hmm. That's why I was sending this shit out. They were like, boy, you hard as fuck, you hard as fuck, you hard as fuck. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I started doing like crazy, like little EPs and shit, putting them on audio, man, just to see what was going on, but right. still want to check the series. It went to like 2020 when I got with Pat C's and Jalil again, and he was like, man, fuck that, we finished with the video. I said, fuck it, let's do it. So, paid us some money, started the video, and that shit went up. That shit went up. I ain't make no pellet, they slept on me. Uh-huh. Thought in the booth with a blick on me. They ain't gon' go, they take on E. Nah. Keep shit screen on hard, low key. They know I'm out, I'm a big old P. Yeah, I'm a big old P. Pop my shit, show off my teeth. Yeah, yeah son gone, but your whole love me. Shit, yeah. fuck is you saying, little nigga? I step in the booth and I give you my life. These folks be calling my phone, they ask for something, they check up a nigga. I 